Chief Meteorologist Noel Reed. Good evening, Concho Valley. Another beautiful afternoon. We had the cloud cover this morning, some breaks in the clouds earlier today. 77 degrees is what we reached earlier. 74 is where we should be this time of year, so slightly above average. As we take a look at the uh, sky cam right now, this is looking out towards the west. Expect to see a beautiful sunset once again in the next few hours. 74 right now out towards uh, our, once again, Cactus West sky cam in San Angelo. 52% humidity. Humidity increasing slightly, but surely still looking at those breezy south winds at 20 miles per hour. If we take a look the water vapor satellite we still have an increased moisture coming in this is in the mid to upper levels you can see it all moving in from the west into the Concho Valley you can see the brighter whites and blues on your screen. That's going to be indicated by the lower level moisture, which will be pumping back into the region. Later tonight and early tomorrow morning, there it is, a scattered cloud cover a little thicker along the I-10 corridor out towards Ozona, pushing towards Sonora and Junction. Once again, this will begin to fill in here shortly. If the clouds hold off, you look out towards the west around 7.30, 8 o'clock tonight. It's going to be a beautiful sunset. Get your cameras ready. Send in those pictures. Temperatures right now sitting at 77 out towards Robert Lee. Into the upper 60s already out towards Big Lake, 68 degrees. Right now in Sonora, 72, Menard, 77 still, and some of, the, some of our northern counties, Coleman and Ballinger. If we take a look at the wind speeds, these are wind speeds at the surface, folks. So we're talking 15 to 20 miles per hour still. Winds coming in at 23 in Big Lake, 23 mile per hour sustained winds in Ozona. Wind gusts over the last 24 hours, 32 mile per hour winds right here in San Angelo, 36 mile per hour winds in Sterling City, nearly 40 mile per hour wind gusts out towards Ozona. Wind gusts about 25 to 30 miles per hour across much of our eastern region. If we take a look at the future cast, fast forwarding into early Friday morning, low pressure begins to track in our next cold front. It's also going to be tracking in with our dry line. The dry line will begin to scoot slightly into the Concho Valley. Then the cold front moves through late Friday, early Saturday morning. This is going to drag in some much cooler temperatures as we head into Saturday afternoon. And Sunday continues to move down towards the south. Cloud cover increases. A slight chance for rain. Even a few rumbles of thunder can't be ruled out. And even the rain chances stick with us as we fast forward into your Sunday, eventually seeing things clearing out Sunday evening from west to east. As we take a look at those upcoming rain chances, just a slight chance for a pop up showers sometime late tomorrow morning, early afternoon, drying out Friday, slight rain chances Saturday into Sunday, drying right back out Monday into Tuesday. No significant real rain chances still in the forecast. West Texas roller coaster really is going to kick up, folks. Pushing near 90 degrees on Friday. Strong cold front swings through, knocking us down more than 20 degrees by Saturday. We're talking temperatures into the upper 50s on Sunday, but we'll hold on to a little bit more sunshine late Sunday afternoon and into next week. Your evening planner tonight, mild and breezy temperatures still into the lower 70s, increasing clouds, and then eventually mostly cloudy overnight. It'll be a cool start as a result of that increased cloud cover. Temperatures into the mid 50s as you make your way out the door. For tomorrow afternoon, we're going to see temp uh, decreasing clouds in the late afternoon, early evening. Still windy, temp, uh, windy conditions south, 10 to 20 miles per hour, gusting to 30, highs at 77 degrees. Here's a look at that 7A forecast as we move forward. We're going to hold on to a little bit more cloud cover once again tomorrow. Wind staying strong through your Saturday. Strong cold front initiating a few showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder as we head throughout the weekend. Highs only into the upper 50s on Sunday.